Hey folks, it's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. It's Friday after Thanksgiving and uh, I got the truck packed up and I'm heading down to my cousin's cabin in the Allegheny National Forest. Uh, it's been a tradition for these guys uh, for years to get together. About six or eight guys stay in the cabin, relax, talk, have fun, just tell stories and we get out in the woods opening week in a PA gun and usually you know out of six eight guys we usually get one or two deer because it's in the middle of a big forested area so we're heading down to PA nasty rainy day but excited to see all the cousins and family and uh, hopefully one of us gets a decent deer this weekend we'll see rain today, temperatures in the high 40s. Uh, tomorrow it looks like there's no chance of rain for opening day. Uh, pretty mild temperatures, somewhere between like 38 and 47 during the day. Uh, we're going to get down there today and I'm going to stop a couple of places, look to see if I can find some parking areas of a new area that I want to spend time in hunting tomorrow, and uh, then we'll get to camp. We'll see everybody. We'll relax for the day. So right now I'm driving some of these roads, including some of these uh, back forest service roads that are open during hunting season to figure out where the gates are to find out what the best access is going to be for me tomorrow. Uh, my plan tomorrow is to find somewhere to sit first thing in the morning and then uh, really do some slow stalking and hiking and moving around. I think I'm going to be able to do that fairly easily tomorrow because of all the rain we got today. I think the leaves should be fairly wet to move tomorrow. So I found a Forest Service road that's opened about a half mile back uh, to where you can park. Uh, out here ahead of us there's a bridge where it says no motorized vehicles, but I think if I can get in this far, a half mile on the road and park here, I think I can be within uh, maybe seven tenths of a mile of where I want to start sitting in the morning if I decide to sit on this side uh, of this piece of property. Hey, gentlemen. That's, that's a nice that's a look for you. How are you? Oh, no, this is me in video. This is Mr. Inspector oh, Gadget. Geez. What's up, brother? What's up, buddy? How are you, man? Good to see you. How you doing? Good. Going good. Hey, Relax guys. Beer. Hey, buddy. How are you? Man, oh, I wish I'd have been with your group. That looked like a lot of fun up there for Thanksgiving. Oh, my God. We had a whole bunch of people oh, there. It was like a blast. I've been e-scouting like crazy, and then two roads I thought I could get into are private. Yeah. So they go into public land, but you can't access them uh, but okay. i went all the way down in the bottom of the valley and found where i can park and cross a little bridge where no more motor vehicles can go across and it's about 200 yards and i get to the other end of that road which is no longer in service uh, so i can walk that road all the way back up to the top of this ridge okay. and then walk around a clear cut to get in so, so you got a hike yeah it's like 1.2 miles to get in but you know, I'll wear a different pair of clothes going in and change yeah, when I get take, there. Take a backpack. That's yeah. what we do in New York. Yeah. And then all day long, I'll just work myself back towards the truck. It's all, all day. Yep. Yep. I just take my time I all day. I always look and, at that too when I pick a spot. Yeah. I'm like, okay, what's my hunt out right. going to look like? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm excited. It's somewhere new. It's somewhere different. Um, you know, the years I've been here, I've never kind of chosen my own place to go. And now that I kind of have a grasp of a little bit of it. Yeah. I may go there and get skunked, or I may go there and see deer moving. So You know what? He probably walks more than anybody, the guy coming in. But... Oh, is that back door walk? I think he's at the back door. Yeah.
Well, I'm saying, like, what's up, buddy? Hi. How are you? A little scouting? <laughs> yeah. That one Jay Scott that Sean found for him when I had to leave for work or whatever that morning, I said, you gotta get over here and help him. That thing took a flying leap in the middle of the biggest multi-floor rose oh. patch <laughs> you could ever imagine. I smelled it. Oh. Huh? And how many times have we done that? You're right right at the intersection smell. of this gas yeah. line. You know, yeah. Blood, 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 nothing. Yep. And it's like... That whiff. I his last home, year, and something I caught my thing. eye. I'm looking like... And I caught a fletching is what I seen in this model floor. I seen this. Mm -hmm. And I'm like... I literally had to like... What the... I'm so like, he still had the arrow in him? Oh, yeah. Way. And I'm like... Oh, he only went... It sounds far, but the thing probably went 60 yards. Yeah. And I go, Jace, I found him. That was his first... No, second. 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 Archer, archer, right. I said, I found him. He's like, where? And I'm like, unfortunately, he's right there. <laughs> yeah. You go get him. <laughs> oh, Curdy. <clears throat> Jace's buddy Nick brought his friend in New York this year, Rick's uh -huh. his name. And he got a doe and or his daughter got a doe and a youth mentored whatever earlier this year. He he brought the back straps up. Oh. And then he cut them in medallions. Yep. We marinated in, I gave, brought Sean up a bottle, uh, Frank's Red Hot Teriyaki Sauce. Uh -huh. And he fried them in some butter oh, for good. an appetizer. Oh, oh my God, I'll have to try that. Chew. Oh, just like just melt, melt. Melt. It, it did. The most tastiest meat you ever had. I'll have You'd to never try know that, that was good. venison either. I don't yeah. care. Yeah. Everyone else will do that. You could do the that. Like, you know, you know, you know about oh, that thick, but yeah. it was just oh, brand brand flash brand. fry it. About that round, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And you're yeah. just like, but it, like you say, cut some of your You know, it was just like, oh, it's so good. It was. I just do butter, salt, and pepper, and that's it. Like you said, just that thick. You know, just. In an electric skillet, just yeah, not in my yeah. That's what he did. Exactly he used my electric skillet yeah. and just that's what I use. Some butter and a bunch of oh butter. God. Yeah, and just yep. That sounds really he good. He married him overnight, and then we had him before someone's pasta dinner. And oh my god, oh. were they good? Yummy. I still say to this day, one of my favorite treats ever. And you were a lot younger. When you brought that duck meat down oh, here and wrapped bacon. it in bacon, I forgot about that. That to yeah. me was the best tasting meat that for whatever good. reason. That, you had that, that marinade with Italian dressing or, or something. Robusto Italian. Yeah, you're rolling yep. a duck hunting back here. Oh, yeah. It's amazing! Amazing. The beavers are coming all the way up here from the water. That's cool. Yeah, it is. That's a haul for them to get up here. Yeah. Look at that tree down. Look how they got the bunch of reasons over here. Yeah, I mean they're chewing it up all over here. And they're gonna drag this stuff. You know, that's what amazes me. And then this is what kills me. This slide coming up, that they're coming up and down. That's amazing to me. I mean it looks like a damn hiking trail. Yep. That's them dragging it. Yep. That's pretty cool. So when you were up here as a kid, did you guys have a place? Or did like a friend of your dad's have a place? Or I grew up on, on a farm. And I grew up right across the street from the farm. The boys from the farm had a place. And they were down home or you were up here? Was that? When you were a kid. Well, did you live up here or down home? No, I think where I always live. Gotcha. Yeah. But they had a cabin up here. Yeah. Cabin okay, from home. Right down right here to the left. Gotcha. It's just so cool growing up in that environment. Jason's been able to do that too. I mean, Jason's been coming to camp since he was in the stroller. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What an experience for him not only to be able to have these woods, but to have you guys as mentors and family for him all these years. And that tradition for him is going to be something that, you know, I'm sure as he moves through and has a family, hopefully he's able to continue with his own kids. Yeah, I hope he does. I hope he brings the kids to camp. They get the next generation just to take it off. Yeah. If he doesn't,
pork loin. All right, let's eat. Well, it's hot, man. Yeah, oh. seriously. Well, I get <coughs> pork, taters, corn. Pork flesh, corn. Mm -hmm. I think Sean's delicious. a pretty good cook. And tequila. And tequila. The sauce. Hey, buddy. You see anything yet? Yeah, two. <laughs> Well, awake and alive after chilling with everybody last night in camp and talking and telling stories, which was great. Opening morning of PA season, it's about 32 degrees, south winds, winds at eight miles an hour. I'm getting in here early because I got about 1.2 miles to walk in and the first uh, six tenths of a mile is uphill. So I wanna be able to take my time, go slow and not get overheated. Uh, so here we go. We'll talk to you in a while. First one into the parking lot this morning, but I have a strange feeling there's gonna be a lot of people here. We'll find out. I'm getting quite a ways away from the road, about 1.2 miles, so hopefully that's gonna be enough to get away from people. Okay, I can hear somebody else coming right now, so I'm not alone. Time to get dressed and time to get out of here. Well, I'm all set up. Kinda of got off course twice because a headlamp's coming at me from probably the private. That I was walking towards so I never quite got to where I wanted to but I thought I, I think I found an area near a steep face where there's a little bit of transition between hardwoods and hemlocks that I think will be a good spot to start today. So I got into where I wanted to be this morning um, after running into uh, two other hunters with flashlights I kind of did a half loop around the direction I wanted to go and ended up finding a place to sit that was probably only about 300 yards away from where I wanted to end up. I uh, saw a small muck early in the morning um, before sunrise, coming diagonally up the hill. After I sat there for about a half hour, I decided to pop down and uh, see if there's a trail down there, and there was. So I began to follow that trail up the valley towards the original point that I wanted to set. And uh, there's a lot of tracks down there, there's a couple of trails. And as I'm coming up that valley, I look 30 yards in front of me. Um, there's a hunter sitting looking uphill. And with the sound of the creek and the leaves being wet and me walking slow and quiet, I got about 30 yards from me and never knew I was there. So I turned around and went back the other way. I'm working down this valley now. And uh, just kicked up a doe uh, that was running at me and she saw me and turned around and ran the other way down the hill. So I'll sit tight here for about half hour, 45 minutes, and then I'll make a plan. I'll possibly go down to the bottom of the creek where there's some CRP, check that out. And uh, if that's not any good, then I'll slow the guy go back up this hill that I came down and maybe up on the plane. We'll see. Got a long day. I'm going to take my time wherever I move, that's for sure. So I worked around the bottom of the valley for a while this morning. Found a real good funnel in another place that's probably awesome for archery. And then uh, I slowly worked myself back up to the top of this ridge. And as I did three doe, I saw skylighted right along the top of the ridge that yeah, we're going along the ridge down towards the point. So I'm gonna sit here on a rock. I'm gonna have a little lunch. See if I can see any deer and uh, make a plan for this afternoon. Okay, lunch is over. I'm gonna go ahead and keep hiking. See what I can find.
think eating venison jerky will bring the deer in. What do you think? Good day in the woods. Saw two small buck. Saw eight or ten doe. Did see plenty of hunters though in this new area that I was in today, so not sure if that bodes well for coming back here tomorrow or not. Some of the other places that I've hunted here in the Allegheny Forest uh, in the past have had less hunters and it was a little bit easier. So we we'll talk to the boys. We we'll go back tonight, have some dinner, have some drinks, and uh, figure out exactly what I'm going to do to sit tomorrow. But I know tomorrow I am only sitting in the morning, and I'm not going to go real far away from the road like I did today. So give me an idea what I'm going to do, and uh, we'll get back at it tomorrow. See if we can get a book. Opening day, zero deer at camp. Uh, everybody saw deer, uh, not everybody saw a buck. So this morning, since I did such a long walk yesterday, I'm going to a place I've been a couple of times in the past. I actually shot a buck here the first year I was here. And uh, it's nice, it's an easy in, easy out, less than a half mile walk to get in there. And uh, it's supposed to rain about nine o'clock. So I'm gonna sit until it's to the point where I'm getting wet and then get out of there, come back to camp, sit down, relax with the boys, watch football for the day. Here comes the rain, 8 a.m. It started raining at 8. I sat there for another hour, stayed fairly dry in my rain gear, and then decided I was going to go take a hike on a rainy day. I figured I could cover some ground without being too loud, maybe get a shot at a buck. It almost worked out. I had a real big least eight maybe a 10 step up in front of me take about 10 steps was about 90 yards away lifted my gun and my scope and I couldn't find him in my scope and when I went to look away from the scope to get a beat on where he was again he took off and went running away but it was pretty cool to see him I saw another six point which ended up being only about 40 yards away but his butt was to me and his head turned around there's no way I was going to take a Texas heart shot especially because I was over the edge of a steep face and it's a rainy day and I didn't feel like doing that all day. And then on my way out, coming back up that steep face, I kicked up a big buck about 100 yards away and man, he was at a dead sprint. I mean, all I could do was watch him sprint through the woods, but man, he had huge rack as well. So it's cool. You know, there's some monsters out here. Makes you want to come back again next year. So go back, get warm at camp, have something to eat, have something to drink, watch football, chill with the cousins. I think the rain's letting up. Not. That'll wrap up opening weekend of PA rifle season down here in the Allegheny National Forest. I had a great weekend with my cousins and family, talking, telling stories, eating great food, sitting around a campfire, having some drinks. Uh, nobody got any buck this weekend, although we all did see buck this weekend. Uh, I saw two big shooters this weekend, but couldn't get close enough to get a shot off at either one of them. I look forward to coming back. Uh, it's time to get home now and finish up New York State season. Hey guys, it's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll talk to you guys later. See ya. I think this buck's got a bit of an anger management problem.